Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your NVIDIA Shield controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator. So let me show you the controller. So you should be seeing the controller right now. This is one of the newer ones this is from 2017. You can use the older one for this as well. So there's a couple of ways to connect it up. Either, you know, connect it via micro USB, which is what I'm going to do, or you can put it into syncing mode by keeping this pressed for a few seconds. This light starts flashing, and then what you obviously it's turned off now, but you, you, you're, you know you can put it into sync mode. You, you know just keep that pressed, and to actually sync it up via Bluetooth, I don't have Bluetooth, but I'll show you what to do. Go into here, search for Bluetooth, go there, go add Bluetooth device, click this. You will not get this because you will have Bluetooth, and then you can just connect it up. Okay, so what we want to do is go to game just literally search for game controllers and now let's connect it up so this is just a way for us to check that it's actually being detected we want it detected as an xbox 360 controller there we go so it's detected like that go to properties and so nothing appearing here yet go back to properties Okay, so one second. So this, I don't think it'll be working yet. So if I click on this, so let me just actually make them all back to default. It doesn't let me, you know, do anything yet. So what you want to do, put it into syncing mode. Keep this pressed. So you can see it is flashing now. Go here. Go to properties. Okay, still not, it still isn't showing it. So just uh, one second. Okay, there we go. I'm surprised why it isn't showing me the configuration. So if I go back, let me just open this up again. Maybe it was, I need to reopen it again. Controller. That's strange. Usually it would appear here and you would be able to see every button. That's strange. But that's not required. That just confirms that it's working. But as you can see, it seems to be working. So that's good. So you just connect this up, put that, and that one. And then for this will be that circle x square. And so let's do E now, or not E, L2, L1 up left down and right down and right and now we can click ok so if we go back here a second go to port one go to get game pads so as you can see we can modify these keys i'm not going to click ok i'm just going to click cancel but what happens if i press this so it goes off this it's in this game mode now it's still fine as long as you go into syncing mode and then press it and it's no longer in syncing mode because if I press that, it just acts as the you know regular key. So I'm gonna to go to cancel. I've already synced everything up. Now we can run a game. So if we run game, 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 Crash Bandicoot. And if I press F3, F3 just allowed me to load up a state that I've already got saved, but that don't affect us. Let's go Yeah, I want to go and start. I want to just turn down the volume just so you can hear me. And let me just play the first level and show you it working. Okay, there we go. So square, X, circle, square, and square and circle do the same thing in the first Crash Bandicoot. The second one it changed so square was spin and circle was slide and this just brings up the hood menu to show us how many wumpa fruit and how many lives we have it says five that means we've got oh, six deaths because you know zero is the life as well okay so yeah 
if you want to end the video here, you can, you can go ahead and end the video. Because we're done with setting me up. I'm just going to play the first level. I just love playing this level. Ooh, almost got these. I think the third, second crab as well. He went all over the place then. Okay, so let's see what we're going, where we're going, keep going up here. Okay, so let's keep going. I will come back and get any box that I do not get initially. The main thing is that I can basically do this. There we go. Okay, so there's two boxes behind here that I need to get. Weird. No regular under the turtle here. And let's go and get the boxes that we missed as well. So there should be a few here in this stack. Oh, there is a two. I thought I got less than that. Should be one. Actually, it looked like it got destroyed, and that's it. Surprised I got that one. And now, what we want to do is just confirm all the boxes are destroyed. Again, this is just to make sure I get the, you know, the gem. You need all boxes in the level to get the gem. I randomly do just press, you know, square and circle. And got to get this last one. Turn the volume up because he's going to say, da da da. Here it comes. Da da da. Okay, so I'm going to click escape. And okay, so you may have noticed I wasn't playing with the analog sticks. They weren't set up, but if you want to set them up, you can. Go to config. And go back to game pads. Uh, one second. The game is still running. The game is still running. So let me rerun that. Rerun EPSXE. Config game pads. Port one, pad one. Okay, so instead of digital, let's go to the dual analog mode or the dual shock mode, depending on you know, which one you want. And there you go. You can, you know map those as well so it's as simple as that if you want to use the analog sticks but that's it that's how you set up the nvidia shield controller on your windows machine using a wire but i'll show you the wireless option as well if you have bluetooth so you can use it on the epsxe emulator that's it any questions feel free to pop me a message